to do the things that are right for your children instead of turning them over to strangers to brainwash into their social agenda. It is a brave new world social agenda that they're training your kids to uh, understand. And they put them in an Orwellian world with metal detectors and everything else. I would never put my child in that kind of an environment. My wife taught in school. We knew when we had children, uh, it had gotten far worse than what we had seen as students, as people who were uh, involved in it, as she was involved as an educator. There was no way we were going to put our children in there. I think most people do not understand that the schools that we have today are not the schools that you grew up in. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the news wrap-up for InfoWars. It's the fourth hour of the Alex Jones Radio Show. I'm David Knight. I apologize to the callers that were on hold. We just don't have time to take any more calls because I wanted to get to what's happening with the calls for a European army. That's right. Calls for a European army. We really haven't talked about this much. Before we do, real quickly, I just want to let you know this hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by the products that we sell at InfoWars Live Select. One of those that is now back in stock is Brain Force. This is something that uh, I use regularly. It is different from caffeine or energy drinks or other supplements. It uses natural activation. It helps me to feel more focused. And it uses ingredients that we are proud to put on the label. That's the whole point of this labeling issue that I was talking about, the, the uh, back and forth with the support for uh, stopping uh, uh, GMO labeling uh, that Rand Paul said he supports. We need to be proud of the ingredients that we're putting in our products, if we're honest. And we try to put the best ingredients that we can in our products. We tell you what's in it. In this particular one, we have things like Yerba Mate extract. We have Alpha GPC. Look those up. Understand what those ingredients do for you. Do your research. Research the stuff that we put in there. We're proud of it. We stand behind it. We defend what we put in there. If we find that there's something uh, that, that changes in terms of the research understanding, we will change the formula. But we are proud of what we have in our products. And again, Brain Force is now available at InfoWarsLife.com after selling out immediately when we put it out there. Now, I want to get to what's going on in Europe because we've all been talking about the massive uh, uncontrolled immigration that is coming in through Europe. And, of course, Angela Merkel has said, uh, bring them all to uh, Germany. But then they had to stop that uh, a couple of days ago. They were being absolutely overwhelmed by it. Other countries have closed their border because there is a limit to how much you can do. And it's a good example, I think, of not being able to deal with the symptoms of a problem if you don't deal with the fundamentals that cause that problem. We talk about that with health all the time. We say, why continue to treat the symptoms of disease when you can try to do something to stop the source of it? Well, the source of this disease that is going on with uncontrolled immigration in Europe is the conflict in Syria that we have manufactured. The people in ISIS that we have trained, equipped, and created. The people that... John McCain and Obama have met with and trained. That's the source of the disease. Deal with that before you try to deal with the festering uh, problems that come out of this. But now understand where this is all headed. Understand that is a crisis to drive us to the solution that they have been engineering for decades since the end of World War II. We're now looking at perhaps a Fourth Reich in the making, understand that with this, with Germany throwing their weight around with Greece, with other countries in the EU, it's not just the financial issues. They now want an army. And of course, this is something that has been cooking for the last six months or so. There were articles going back into March. Listen to this one. Uh, this is uh, the Wall Street Journal reporting on this. Back in March, this, uh, this is the German defense minister, Ursula von der Leyen, saying, I am convinced that a European army or a European defense union can be created as a logical consequence of European integration. Okay, she says, Europe will only stay politically relevant in the future if we're able to complement our economic power and our political influence with a truly coherent security defense policy. Now, as we saw these manufactured economic crises, people were saying, people like Alan Greenspan, people like the head of the largest uh, bond company in the world, PIMCO, were all saying, you're not going to solve the economic situation unless you have political union. Well, ask yourself, who is going to fund the army? It's going to be funded with European taxes. Who's going to control this army? Most likely, Germany. This is something that is going to create a United States of Europe. This is what they've been driving for. This is an intermediate step to a globalist governance. And the trade treaties that we see coming down the line are another step in that consolidation process. That's it for today's broadcast. Join us tomorrow for the InfoWars Money Bomb. Very important.